Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So here I was solving a sample question paper of mathematics. I had placed a timer of 15 minutes first for reading the question paper. After that, I placed a timer of three hours for solving the question paper. In the last video, I did not share the score of sample paper with you all. But in today's video, I will. Uh, and I will also talk about the mistakes that I made, which I will have to improve. So if I talk about what I've observed after solving three sample question paper of mathematics, then the thing is that my time management skills have definitely improved a lot because I got done with the paper 35 minutes before the timer got over. And after that, I checked it again and again. So that took some time. But still, I had 35 minutes for rechecking my paper. That's an achievement for me because in the first pre-board examination, I could not attempt the question of eight marks, like case-based question. So definitely I'm happy about the fact that my time management skills have improved. So this week is going to be very hectic for me because I'll have back-to-back -back exams without any gap days. And I also have my strategy plan regarding how I'm going to prepare in these days. So let's see. I hope I get a good score and I hope everything works in the planned manner. And also, if I talk about the mistakes, then I mostly make mistakes in the MCQs and a few silly mistakes in the long answer questions, which I will talk about in today's video itself. So stay tuned for that. And if I talk about my plans after the second pre-board, like before the board examination, then I will revise. Obviously, I will solve sample question papers and previous year question papers. If possible, I will try to revise the NCRT from scratch once again. If I have enough time, I will revise every single chapter. Otherwise, I will just revise the major chapters, which I feel are a little complicated. For example, history, all the chapters of history are quite complicated for me. And other than that, geography, the chapter of agriculture and minerals. So I'll revise these chapters. Otherwise, I will try to revise all the chapters from scratch. So in these three, four days, I only practice the medium level question papers. But from tomorrow onwards, I will try to practice the hard question papers of mathematics to see if I have actually improved or not. And also to prepare myself in a more better way for the pre-board examination, because in the pre-boards, the questions might be a little harder than the board examinations. So just to prepare myself for that, I will practice hard question papers from tomorrow. And also, I have learned that you should always, always write the page number on the upper part of your maths answer sheet or use any other technique so that you know the chronology of the papers. Otherwise, in the end moment, there are chances that you might get confused and you might just not put it in the perfect chronology. Minutes 45 seconds and I'm done with the paper. I am doubtful about a few questions like around... Two, three MCQs. I'm doubtful about that. And other than that, I think all the questions went well. So yeah, I'll come back and I will check the answer sheet. And my phone has zero, like 10% charge at this point. So I'll charge my phone. I'll come back and then I'll check the paper. I just calculated my score and I scored 71 out of 80. It is better than my previous test score, but I made the mistakes in the MCQ as I had already mentioned. I'm weak at the MCQ section and I did a very few, like a very minor silly mistake here, not few, a very minor silly mistake in the surface area, this question. I did not write a zero in here and as a result, the whole question got wrong. So this was a three marker. So I lost my marks here. And in a question of probability, I lost another mark. So yeah, I have to focus on my silly mistakes and the MCQ problems. I'll try to practice more MCQs tomorrow. So that's it for maths today. Now I will start practicing science. So here I was revising the chapter carbon and its compounds. I have revised this chapter earlier along with the example problems, but I decided to revise it once again along with the reactions like i wrote down every single example and reaction on my notebook because this chapter is actually a little complicated for me and i've also heard that a lot of people find it difficult that is why i decided that since i have today's time 
I should revise it once again. Now let me ask you a very basic question from the chapter carbon and its compounds. What type of carbon compounds give a sooty flame? Saturated or unsaturated? This is a two marker. This is not a one marker. So make sure that you think twice before answering. And if you do know the answer, then do let me know the answer in the comments below. Don't look into the NCRT. So revising this chapter actually took a very long time because I revised every single example, uh, line, term, everything. So that is why it took me around two hours to complete the revision of this chapter only. So after reading this chapter for a while, I took a break and I had some coffee and pizza. I'll definitely have to work on my caffeine consumption because it's too much and it's also ruining my sleep schedule. And I'm also getting scolded about it every day. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to work on it. So for understanding the nomenclature topic, I watched a video of Aluxar, which was actually a very old video. And that video made all my concepts clear. And also whatever video I'm watching at this point, I'm watching it at like 1.75 or 2x speed if possible, because this time is very crucial. So in order to revise every single topic in a faster manner i think that you should watch the videos in 2x speed or 1.5x speed and after working for a very long time i was finally done with this chapter so before moving into today's video i wanted to talk about these amazing sample question paper books by physics wala each book contains 15 sample question papers and trust me these books are going to make your board preparation 10 times better you're definitely going to score well if you use these books. Now let's dive into the contents of these books to see how this is actually going to help us in our board exam preparation. So firstly, we are provided with the latest course structure of CBSE and it actually helps us a lot to remind us about the topics which are included in the exams and which aren't. And here is a list of map pointings in the social science syllabus. And these are some tips regarding how we can rock our board examination so that we don't get stressed during the day of the exam and don't ruin it. On the next page, we have a self-assessment sheet in which we can write the question-wise remarks of every single sample question paper. This is going to help us a lot in revising our mistakes and seeing what mistakes we did in the future as well. On the next page, we have the chapter-wise weightage of every single chapter in the past five years in the examination of Delhi and outside Delhi. So these are the contents of the book. Firstly, we have the cheat sheets of all the chapters. These cheat sheets are going to be very helpful to revise our concept clearly and efficiently. And then we have the solved paper of 2023 and also the solved papers of the two question papers which were released by the CBSE this year. And then the question papers are arranged in the difficulty level. So these are the cheat sheets. These cheat sheets are basically concise notes and mind maps. It will help us revise our concepts in a much efficient manner. And this is the first handwritten solved paper of 2023. And this gives us a full-fledged idea about how we are supposed to write our answers in the board examinations. In the sample question paper solution of every single sample paper, we have the tips regarding how we can nail the correct answer and what are the very basic mistakes which we are supposed to avoid. And these tips are definitely going to improve our answer writing. So to boost your board exam preparation, if you want to purchase these books too, you can buy it from Amazon and Flipkart. And you can also use my coupon code STN150 on the PW store to get an additional discount. I'll make sure that I provide the link in the description box below. So I decided to solve a few MCQs from the previous years. I firstly thought that I'll solve all the five years previous year question paper MCQs of outside Delhi but then I realized that the question paper of 2022 only consisted of MCQs only and I obviously didn't solve the full thing because it was of 90 minutes I only did the past three years question papers and I found out that I majorly made mistakes in the questions of AP and polynomials in the MCQ part so I'll have to focus on that and I did learn uh, two three things which were new to me so right now I am quite hopeful that I'll not make the same amount of mistakes while practicing the MCQs. I might make a few mistakes but not as many as I used to. 
So after being done with MCQs of mathematics, I took a break and then I started practicing the diagrams of biology again. I was I had practiced the diagrams of uh, control and coordination, life processes and reproduction. All the three chapters from life processes, I practiced one diagram. From control and coordination, I practiced all the diagrams. And from reproduction also, I practiced all the diagrams except the male and female reproductive system because that diagram was quite complicated. So I decided that I'll do it tomorrow, not today, because I was not in the mood of drawing a whole new diagram once again. Also, let me tell you that I refer to two YouTube channels. First one is Fine Arts Guruji and the other one is Artist Fun because in the last video or in the last to last video, someone had asked me about the YouTube channels. So yeah, I took reference from these two YouTube channels and it was actually quite easy. Both of them made it look pretty easy. So I will practice all these diagrams once again before the exams so that I have a good hold on them. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video and if you did, then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll post a video tomorrow and after that, I don't know, I'll maybe post after 4 or 5 days because I'll have back to back exams. So stay tuned. Bye.